Let's open some new munchlings. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a good week and have a fun or relaxing weekend ahead of you, whichever you prefer. I'm here with the latest Munchlings unboxing from the Disney store, not to be confused with the series 3 of the Primark Munchlings that I've just done, and if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a card up above. As one of the characters we're getting today for the first time from the Disney store, we actually got for the first time from Primark in their series 3 set that released before this. I did unbox these on my shorts so if you didn't see that unboxing of the boxes and showing what you could get I will leave a card above but we will go through that in a moment. So these released in the US on Monday the 1st of April and I was very vocal about the fact that we wouldn't get them on Monday the 1st of April because that was a bank holiday in the UK and they just don't seem to drop things on bank holidays. So I checked on the Tuesday and there was nothing on the Tuesday and I was like right it'll be Monday because they like to drop things on Mondays. I was wrong. They dropped them on Wednesday. Luckily, I saw them with enough time. They're still in stock now, but you never know whether if you aren't there at 8 o'clock, whether they will sell out. So I got them at something like quarter past eight on the Wednesday, but I did manage to get five like I wanted. I used my birthday 15% discount, and that meant that one was almost free because if you get 20% and buy five you will get one free so that made it a little bit better as usually I buy four and then just throw something on that's quite cheap to get the postage but unfortunately there's just nothing cheap on the Disney store at the moment especially now the outlet is a separate page it's just really really hard to just add something that's a few pounds onto your order so it made the most sense for me to get a fifth box but there are seven to collect so there's no way that I'm going to be getting a full set today but let's see what I've got. So I've already taken one out of the plastic packaging for the thumbnail obviously but let's just appreciate how cute these little boxes are. They've actually got a handle so they look like a picnic basket and that is because these are the playful picnic munchlings. So you can see the logo there and then they're just the normal style of box with the stripes down the side. So before we begin unboxing them let's look at the ones that you can get. So like I said, there are seven to collect. You've got Miss Bunny as a German potato salad, Simba as a sun-dried tomato quiche, Stitch as a blueberry lemonade, Gus as an apple chutney pork pie, Lady as a chicken pesto calzone, and Dumbo as a PB&J sandwich. And the mystery is Minnie, but I'll be honest, I don't actually know what food she is. I can't find it on the internet. So of these, the ones I would want most is Simba, because he's new for the Disney store, but the Series 3 Primark Munchlings set had Simba in. I would really love the Stitch as a blueberry lemonade, and I'd love Lady. So, you know I don't really like the Lion King. I would go so far as to say I maybe hate the Lion King, but I love pizza. But even though it's a quiche, it kind of looks like a pizza, so I do like that one. I love the drink ones, because the drink ones are always a bit more relatable to me, because I don't eat most of these foods. If we went on what I ate, I wouldn't have any of them because the chicken calzone has pesto in it but we're not picking them by what I would like to eat we're picking them by how cute they are I would actually quite like Dumbo as well because I don't think they've done Dumbo before it's a really cute one but like I said I've got five boxes so there is no way that we are completing the set today but let's start with number one I need to see if I have scissors a few moments later so scissors acquired I'm just gonna cut into the boxes I will probably have duplicates but that's a given so they open quite easily you just have to cut the four tabs and then open it up and then you still can't see what you've got because there's like another layer so let's see box number one what's under here Well, that's good. It's one of the ones I wanted. So this is the Stitch Blueberry Lemonade. He's got a little disc that's like a coaster that says Disney Munchlings and it's gingham. And it is actually attached to him, but just with a little bit of plastic. So you could take him off if you wanted to. His tag isn't that long either. So that could just be tucked up under his bum and put between his bum and the coaster. So that's really good. I love the colour scheme on this. So there's a lot of blues and yellows to go with the blueberry and the lemonade. He's got a little yellow straw 
and then a 3D lemon wedge which is foam and some little blueberries that are just plush and obviously embroidered features that is something that is standard with Shop Disney ones and it's only just been introduced with the Primark ones but he is absolutely adorable and it makes me really want a blueberry lemonade so so far so good And the box is quite neat, so if I do need that for vintage, which I really, really hope I don't, I'll keep that to one side. On to box number two. So you cut this side, that side, and then there's two at the back. There's no point putting sellotape on the hinge of the box. So we're ready to open them again. So box number two, please don't be another stitch. Just be anything but stitch. It's looking good. It doesn't look blue through the hole. So what have we got? We've got Lady! So this is Lady as a chicken pesto calzone. She's in one of those little baskets that they've started introducing that I really love. And then on the bottom it has the Disney Munchlings logo. She looks absolutely adorable. You could say she was a Cornish pasty if you so wanted to, but she's a calzone. I love her fluffy ears and she's got like a little bit of, I assume, cheese, tomato and lettuce sticking out. It's a shame that the like pocketing on the calzone isn't embroidered, that's screen printed but her features are embroidered it would have just been nice if the where they close the calzone was embroidered as well because that would have been really lovely to feel but again so far so good and another perfect box i'll be honest i don't know how i'd fold this up for vintage because i don't like to send them in a box because I usually don't have a box that will fit this awkward box size so I tend to fold them up but I don't think I can so I think I'm gonna have to find a box that will fit these in but let's hope it doesn't come to that I really don't want to have to trade or go on vintage box number three I need to take out of the plastic I know I say this every month but it's such a waste of plastic so I'm still hoping to get Simba and Dumbo for some reason this one's double stickered so it's really hard to cut through because you're trying to cut through two lots of stickers it always makes me think it's been opened but I don't know how I got them on the day of release. So box number three, this doesn't look like one we've had before, hopefully. No, it's not. So this is Miss Bunny as a German potato salad. I've never heard of that before, but she's in a little flower and gingham basket with the Disney Munchlings logo. And then she's got embroidered features and the food on her forehead, which are I don't know what the food is but that's embroidered as well so this one's fully embroidered unlike lady and she's really really cute she's really small i've got to say i think it's a bit naughty when they're all the same price and then you've got like a big lady and a tiny miss bunny like why are they the same price make it make sense i don't know but she's really really cute and i can't believe that we are three for three at the moment that never happens on lizzie and disney so let's go on to box number four. Again, this one's got two stickers all around it, so it's really, really hard to cut into. I reckon the machine that puts the stickers on does it wrong the first time, so it does it again, but I don't know why. Box number four. I think this is another Miss Bunny. Yeah, another Miss Bunny. That's a shame, but we've still got one more left. Let's hope that we end on a high. Again, double stickered. There must have been a real problem with the stickering machine that day. So final box, box number five. I just want it to not be a duplicate. I really don't care who I've got. Can't really see. It looks like one I haven't got before. Yes! And it's one I actually wanted. So this is the Dumbo peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I really love it because even though I don't eat them, it just looks like a sandwich so this is a triangle shaped sandwich which is how i prefer my sandwiches to be cut actually and then you've got these big ears for dumbo and a little hat at the top and then the like filling of the sandwich comes out and it's 3d and then there's embroidered features embroidered kind of holes for the bread although on the back it's just screen printed but i don't begrudge them that it's on the back it's not going to be seen on the shelf or anything so just screen print it girl it's fine it's in a little gingham basket again with the disney munchlings logo so i'm really happy with that 
I didn't get Simba, but it actually wasn't a pizza anyway, so it was kind of pointless me having it, I guess. And I've only got one to trade or sell, so hopefully I can do that. I've just checked with my friend who I trade with, and she doesn't need this one, so I'll be putting this on Vintage straight away. So hopefully it's sold by the time this video goes up, but just in case it hasn't, which was the case with one of my Wishables, there is a link in my description to my Vintage. I just update it when I've got something to sell. I don't do it regularly because obviously I'm just selling things that I need to get rid of. It's not a business or anything, but I just put things on like spare munchlings that I can't trade, mystery, Disney Squishmallows when I don't get the one I want, clothes that don't fit me anymore, stuff like that. So there is always a link in my description to my vintage just in case you want to have a look. But fingers crossed I managed to get rid of this one because it does put money towards getting another one in the future. But that is it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below which one was your favourite. I'll be back on Tuesday for a Shop Disney haul where I'm going to show you what I've bought recently and do very quick plush reviews for them all because there's something like four or five and I just wouldn't be able to give you a plush review of all of them in separate videos so I've put them all together. So have a great weekend and I'll hopefully see you on Tuesday for that video. Bye friends!